G'day mates, train simulator driver. I saw a question on the forum about calibrating the rail driver and what happens when you get the throttle incorrect. Calibrating the throttle is a little bit weird so I thought I'd record a tutorial of going through the calibration of the rail driver with mine sitting on top of the uh, representation here. So let's do this. Okay, first up we're going to do the reverser. So we want to move the reverser to the full reverse position and then we hit accept. Then we're going to go to the middle position as you see here and accept. Then we go to the top position and accept. Now the throttle's a little bit weird so we're starting at the bottom so we come all the way to the bottom. Now I always go just a tiny bit back until the line moves. There. Because you won't be able to get into the highest notch of a locomotive if you don't do this. Okay, let's accept that. Now we come to the first off position. I use I don't bring it over to the right here. I just use this top position and accept that. Now we need to go all the way to the top. So the natural thing is to come here because that's the next travel. So coming to this position, but that's wrong. And that's what I think this person in the forum has done. So let's go all the way to the top position now and accept that. Then we come back to what would be the setup position for dynamic braking and accept that. For the brake, we come all the way down to the bottom. Then almost all the way to the top where you hit the first detent and accept it. Push it past the detent into emergency and accept that. Then we're going to do the independent brake. We right at the bottom of the travel and we accept that. Bail off position and accept that. All the way to the top and accept that and bail off and accept that. Now just a note on the brake handle. Um, I have found sometimes that I still end up with a couple of pounds in the brake pipe, particularly on American locomotives. So I'll often calibrate it the same way I did the throttle, just slightly off the bottom. Anyway, we're going to do our switch now. So we want the left position of the wiper switch. We'll accept that. Center position of the wiper switch. And then the right position of the wiper switch. Coming back again, it's the left position of the headlight switch center position of the headlight switch, right position of the headlight switch. And that's all it takes to calibrate your rail driver. Right, thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I stream every Sunday morning, 9am Melbourne, Australia time. Thanks for watching.